Decision MMA UK still here in Halifax. Um, we've just seen the main event of Fight Star Championship 3 and I'm here with the winner, Joshua Collins. Fantastic fight. It was uh, Everybody loved that one. You know, from, What was it like being involved in such a, a great war? It was, man. It was a great fight. I knew, um, I knew Ant Davis. I've, I've watched him. I've, I've watched him fight like live as well and he is a one tough his record doesn't doesn't compare to how he is as a fighter he is one tough guy and he hit he hits hard as he hits hard as fuck man he hits hard as fuck and uh i knew coming into the fight it was going to be a stand-up war we're pretty much on the weighing day we had a good laugh and a joke together about just absolutely smashing each other so uh and that's basically what we did and the last 10 seconds well, the, the, probably the best 10 seconds of my life. So, yeah, it was really good. <laughs> you showed some, in that last 10 seconds, some great head movement. I think I saw you duck down more to throw him as well, yeah, getting yeah. out of his way. Yeah, well, I've, I've come from like a boxing background. That's always been my staple, but I've obviously been working my wrestling with Kamakuru. But in my eyes, the, the, the best UK wrestler in MMA. Uh, obviously, Danny Mitchell, as you know, but the youngest black belt in the UK. Hey, that guy, that guy's awesome. He, bringing my jits on constantly all the time and obviously the MMA he is the Greg Jackson of MMA in the UK and it's it's a pleasure to be on the mats with with these guys like Nico Joker, uh, Danny Mitchell, Kamaku, Jason Furness. I could I, I think we've had some of the best amateurs in the country as well and it's just honestly it's an honour and a pleasure to train with those guys it really, it really is I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for them. You, me you mentioned before about how hard he hits in the I can't remember what round it was when you lost your gum shield and you seemed yeah, to spin round. He hit me, he caught me square, he hit me, I spun around. <laughs> For a second, I didn't know where I was. I, 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 I saw my gum shield fly across the cage. I came round up and I thought, right, let's fucking go for it. But um, I tell you what, man, respect to that guy, Aunt Davis, man. I, I, I'd, I'd love to, I'd love to train with him, do you know what I mean? He's a nice guy as well, really nice chap. Uh, it was a ple pleasure to fight him. You know, I'm sorry I've got a bit of a dry mouth, like, but uh, really pleasure to fight him, nice guy. Well, yeah, he's in the cage, he seems like really crazy egging you on, and then you yeah. speak to him outside and he's so cool, he's, so, yeah, he's a nice guy. I, I know, that's, that's what I like, that's what I wanted, we were talking to each other, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we're both, we're both mixed martial artists, we come there to fight each other, put on a show, and uh, that's what we did, and he, uh, res respect to the guy, uh, definitely my hardest fight, one of my hardest fights I've ever had, and he, he is a great, great guy, great guy. And that victory bounces you back from Bulgaria, like we said yeah. before, how frustrating was that one out there, what did you take from it as well? Yeah, the, the Bulgaria fight gave me a real fire under my belly, I mean it was a close fight, do you know what I mean, over here I probably would have got the decision, but over there, but in, es in essence, looking back on it now, in hindsight, I I should have really gone over there and finished him, do you know what I mean? And I, and I didn't do that, and that's given me a... It gave me, for this fight camp, even though it was short notice to fight on Davis, it gave me a real fire under my belly. I trained twice as hard, and it just... To, co to come back from that loss, is, is it feels amazing, it feels amazing. And what's next for you? Have you got anything planned uh, up? I did have something in two weeks in Istanbul, but obviously with this and my hands, uh, I think that's going to... I think I'm going to have a little bit... I've been pretty... I've trained full whack all year, do you know what I mean? And uh, I think I'm going to have a, a, not time off, keep training, but um, focus on some of the other guys that got, got the fights coming up and then have a fight, see if I can get a big big fight down down, down the line. Uh, see if Danny can sort me, sort me something special. Get back on the travels yeah, when they say in Istanbul. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, something international would, uh, would be great, yeah, yeah. Again. Sure. And um, is there anyone you want to give a shout out to or thank before oh, I let you go? Oh man, I could be here all day. Uh, all the guys, like I said, Nico Joker, Danny Mitchell, uh, uh, Kuru, um all the amateur guys. Oh, I don't even want to say names because I'll have to ring them all off. The Jits guys, like Adam Simpson, Roberto, uh, of course my sponsors, uh, Af Athlete King, Allback Sanitizer, Wilson Field, uh, uh, Green Brothers, Building Contractors, uh, Gary Pierce. Gary Pierce, men's hair, that's it. But, um, also, big shout out to uh, Stu Horbeck Sanitizer for um, he is uh, always looking after me. I wait cut his house, he, he, he looks after me, uh, yeah, sorts me out. And also, shout out to Aunt Davis for uh, a, a phenomenal fight, a phenomenal fight, man. What a guy. I think that's the best word that sums it up phenomenal. That's yeah, what it was. It was and a phenomenal fight, and uh, I'll remember that for as long as I live. So, oh, oh, great. Yeah. I hope you enjoy um, celebrating it. I hope yeah. you rest up yeah. well, and thank thanks you, for your time, and uh, see you soon. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Josh. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.